What's your thoughts on, on these strikes across the country? Yeah, well, while we're not aware of any task force who are involved in these strikes, what I think this is doing is highlighting the importance of gig economy workers at this time. I mean, this pandemic has really brought to the forefront how essential these workers are. So my thinking is that our taskers and a lot of people who are going out and doing things for people and providing those essential needs are really the heroes and should be asking for their rights and their benefits. Our taskers can set their own hourly rates. They determine when and how they wanna work. And we have a platform that gives them the freedom and the flexibility to do so. And I encourage our taskers to really ask for what they need. We are doing all the things to help keep them safe, providing the safety kits, giving them hand sanitizers, gloves and masks, and providing them with ways to do all of their tasks in a contactless way. And I encourage all of our community to participate in supporting people who are on the front lines in that way. Now, you use the word heroes, and it's interesting because we were speaking with an Instacart worker who was protesting, and she said she didn't like being called a hero. She said, we're doing this because we're desperate, because we need the money. And a lot of the people who do these jobs, you know, they're out of work, uh, and especially at a time when the economy is going into recession, they're the ones that are going to be most hurt. I mean, do you think what the government is doing enough is enough? Do you think uh, the federal government can do more? And can companies like TaskRabbit and others do more to make sure that pay and, and benefits are there? Well, not everybody is impacted by this pandemic equally. You're right. Many of our taskers who choose to continue to task right now are doing it because they need to make money. They depend on our platform to make a meaningful income. And so, yes, they're going out and people are putting signs up. There was a little girl who put up a sign that said, thank you, Sonia, you're my hero, to one of the taskers. And so while Sonia may not have felt like a hero, she brought toilet paper <laughs> to this little girl's house. And for, for the little girl, Sonia was a hero. But they're going out and they're doing this because they need to earn an income. They need to make money. The CARES Act is an opportunity. It is an option that the government has provided. And we know anecdotally some of our taskers are taking advantage of that. We are putting in preventative measures. We are helping our taskers do tasks in a virtual way. So a lot of furniture assembly tasks are now happening virtually because we can't go into people's homes. So we're doing our part to adapt the way that our business model works and the way that tasks can happen so that people can be safe. I think it takes a community to do this. It's not just government, it's not just business. On that note, there's also this other contingent of, of workers that's protesting the stay-at-home orders. They wanna go back to work. And you're on Gavin Newsom's task force. Of course, the shelter in place in California was just extended to May 31st. There's a lot of grumbling about it from, let's say, Elon Musk. He called it an outrage. What's your reaction to some of the criticism that this is too blunt force and, and perhaps uh, there should have been more of a, a phased reopening or that companies and, and, and factories should be given a choice? Well, I'm honored to be on this task force. It's a collection of government, business, healthcare, you know, academics together. And we're all trying to make the best decision. It is a phased approach. There are four phases. And one of the big areas of focus is focusing on the communities that are hardest hit. So a big piece of entering into the next phase is how do we make sure we have childcare for all of the parents who want to go back to work? So saying it's simply easy to just open up the doors and go back to work, there's a lot of infrastructure and solutions that have to be addressed. How do we make sure we have testing available for anybody who wants to get tested and those tests are accurate? Those are all the questions that this task force has been designed to create. So it's not that no one wants to go back to work. We just want to make sure we do it in the right way. My role is to make sure all of the independent contractors who also want to continue to task can do that when, when the state does reopen in a safe way. 